So right now the oh, so right now the 20 watt panel is running on the MPPT controller, and we're going to switch it to be directly connected to the battery and see if the amperage changes. And it looks like it went up a little bit. So we'll switch it back. So it's searching for the maximum power point. And we're going to switch it back again. So it looks like a direct connection, at least for this 20 watt panel, is bringing in more power. It was wrong. Um, even though the amps coming in went down, the amps is a measurement from the solar panel and not the actual battery. And so, although the amps went down, the voltage must have gone up. So, this red line, kind of averaging around 3 watts, right here is where I switched the 20 watt panel over to the MPPT controller. And that becomes the green line, and you can see it, it's peaked up to 3.98 watts. <clears throat> well, I turned it off, and then realized I was wrong, so I turned it back on, and that 20 watt panel peaked out at about 5.51 watts. And that was the average for a minute. I switched it back and you can see it goes back down to less than three. And now here, here it is again on the MPPT controller and we're hitting almost five. So there's a clear difference even on a 20 watt panel showing that that MPPT controller can squeeze more energy or power out of there. So the peak radiation so far today has been 83.1 watts per meter squared. Yesterday, just as a comparison, <laughs> the peak was 143 watts per meter squared. Well, maybe this is higher. Oh, roughly the same. When you compare this graph, the light gray is yesterday's watt input, and the dark gray is today's watt input, and you can see that it reflects the watts per meter coming down from the sky. Point out as well that this 20 watt panel is sometimes bringing in as much as, as 5 watts. Um, that's 25% of its capacity which is pretty good for a really cloudy day. Um, you can't see the sun outside. This is a couple days after a snowstorm. Um, and you saw the solar radiation was, was pretty low. On a sunny day, the solar radiation might be around 600. So I think this 20 watt panel could do pretty well in the sunlight. In comparison, the blue and the yellow are 200 watt panels. And I think that they have bad cells. And so, <clears throat> in this case, with the MPPT controller attached to the 20 watt panel, it's matching the performance of the 200 watt panels. Almost. It's super close. More recording. So, and just to put this into perspective, if the, if the 20 watt panel is bringing in 5 watts, that makes it 25.45% efficient in the clouds. If the 200 watt panel is bringing in 5.98 watts, that makes it 2.99% efficient. So the 20 watt panel, when everything is relative, is performing five times better than the 200 watt panel. So I think it's pretty clear that there's something wrong with those big panels. So you can see it's a pretty crappy day out. It's just clouds. I don't know why all the birds are still here. That's weird. The 200 watt panels. These I bought second hand for cheap because they're shattered. You can see this one was actually penetrated. 
and that cell is actually bent backwards. I'm sure there's probably some fractures in it. Um, these are the panels that the the 20 watt panel is basically matching right now. Is the 20 watt panel? Is a 130 watt panel that was hooked up, and this is the panel that's basically bringing bringing in no power, but it is laying flat. So that's laying flat, whereas this one is laying at an angle. So it looks like in the winter time, laying a panel flat basically basically is no good.